Hey, it's dinner time, and I'm just going to show you how easy dinner can be. Unfortunately for poor Jack, um, Kathy's gone back to the South Beach diet, which means um, if you see me cooking dinner, there are no potatoes. Um, it's just all veggies and uh, either shrimp or a, a real good protein. So what I'm cooking on here is our new stainless steel cookware. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's absolutely fabulous. And I just want to take a minute. I've already got it on medium high because we want it to get hot. But I want to tell you what's great about it. The non-stick mesh grip, check this out. Can you see that nice grid there? Okay, it allows you to sear the food and yet use the fawn to make sauces and gravy. It's easy cleanup because it's dishwasher safe. You can go in the oven to 450 degrees and you can even use metal utensils, which just goes against everything I've ever done with Pampered Chef. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some oil in here. Um, you do not want to use Pam. We've talked about this before. I always have my rusty, trusty little um, silicone brush by the stove, so it's always there. So we've let this get a little bit hot, okay? And we're going to uh, put in my shrimp. I've already thawed this, and it's just Jack and I for dinner. So there's not a whole lot of shrimp here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, some lemon pepper. So we're just gonna put that in there, and we're gonna mix it around a little bit. And we're gonna let this cook uh, and sear. Maybe I should, so we're gonna let that, I like lemon pepper, can you tell? And you all know how I measure things. Now in the meantime, back here are my green beans that are cooking and they're boiling away. And over here, I've been cooking my cauliflower. So what I want to do is, um, I'm gonna let Jack go right over here and focus on the shrimp while I go and I strain the cauliflower because I'm gonna make mashed cauliflower. You're gonna love this. I just used a fresh head of cauliflower, and this is the mix and mash, which believe it or not, I, I have the old, um, oh gosh, the old mashed potato masher from a long, long time ago, and one of my customers recently said to me, haven't you ever used the mix and mash? I'm like, no, I've never used it. So this is really cool, so I'm just gonna go in here, and I'm gonna mash up my cauliflower. My grandson, when I serve this, he tells me I'm serving fake food because it's not really potatoes and I fool him all the time. So this mix and mash is absolutely fabulous for uh, potatoes, mashed cauliflower, and anything that you need to mash. It's just such an amazing job. So we're gonna mash them up. Check that out, mashed cauliflower. Now I could also, if I didn't wanna, if I wanted to dirty more dishes, but then you all know Jack will yell at me if I dirty any more dishes. I could put this in the manual food processor and I could mash it up a lot and I would get, just like mashed potatoes, that's when the kids don't even know the difference in what I'm doing. The other thing, do you see this over here? This is my pan protector. For any of you who do have any of our pots and pans, you know that you should always have sheet protectors in between your pans to save your pots and pans. So this is my shrimp. Now, you, shrimp only takes about four or five minutes to cook, and I'm not actually gonna have you sit here and watch the shrimp turn pink the four or five minutes, but this is what's for dinner. I made a salad already, okay, and I cut my lettuce up with my salad chopper. Like I said over here, this is my green beans boiling away. I've got my mashed cauliflower, and I've got my shrimp. Now, I wanna show you one other product. Hold on, stay right there. This is our new herb milk. Uh, I believe it came out last season. It's really very cool. Do you see this little round ball in here? The little round ball goes on the top and it's already come down. The most important thing when you're using the herb milk is at, after you've washed your herbs, make sure they're dry because otherwise they do get stuck. But check this out. We're just gonna add some parsley. And I'm just gonna clean that, take that little ball and scrub and smush it around. And look at that, look at that parsley. We don't put too much in because Jack's not a real fan of anything green. He told me last night when I cooked zucchini and summer squash 
No wonder my son hated zucchini because uh, I've been serving it to him for 25 years now. So anyway, there we go. My dinner is done. And if you look over here, you can see where I have my sear on the bottom of my pan if I did want to do anything more with that. But what I, what I want you to know is dinner can be done in seriously 20 minutes and you can eat healthy and uh, it's easy peasy. Have a great day.